So this is uh, from Global Elephants f- shared this on Twitter. Tuskless elephant evolution linked to ivory hunting. Now, this is something I've talked about a lot on my show. For those of you that don't know, I'm an elephant fan. I'm a fan of elephants. Um, I think they're cool. I like them a lot. And so I like elephants. A new study suggests that severe ivory poaching in parts of Mozambique has led to the evolution of tuskless elephants. We're talking about just over the course of 100 years. In order to affect evolution over the course of 100 years, you need to do some real fucked up shit. And that's exactly what poachers have done. The study published in Science Magazine found that in Goron Gosa National Park, a previously rare genetic condition had become more common as ivory poaching used to finance a civil war pushed the species to the brink of extinction. What is a civil war? What, what, is, what is this shit? What the hell are you people doing? Oh, okay, so let me get this straight. So humans want to kill each other because they're dumb. And that's the elephant's problem. Why? Are there elephant civil wars? Do elephant civil wars affect humans? Do dolphin civil wars happen and do they affect humans? Last time I checked, that's not the case. So why are human civil wars affecting elephants? Why are are there wars to begin with? It just doesn't make any sense. Humans are one of the only species that kill each other just for fun. That's all war is. It's just like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Let's go kill each other for stupid shit. I, f- I hate humans, man. Humans are the worst. And I love elephants. Before the war, about 18.5% of females were naturally tuskless. But that figure has risen to 33% among elephants born since the early 1990s. Some 90% of Mozambique's elephant population was slaughtered by fighters on both sides of the Civil War that lasted from 1977 to 1992. Poachers sold the ivory to finance the vicious conflict between government forces and anti-communist insurgents. Government forces and anti-communist insurgents. Interesting. This is, uh, I'm reading from the BBC, by the way, so that's interesting verbiage for them. Elephants without tusks were left alone by the hunters, leading to an increased likelihood that they would breed and pass on the tuskless trait to their offspring. Researchers have long suspected that the trait only seen in females was linked to the sex of the elephant. After the genomes of tusked and tuskless elephants were sequenced, analysis revealed that the trend was linked to a mutation on the X chromosome that was fatal to males, which did not develop properly in the womb and dominant in females. The study, uh, the study's co-author, Professor Robert Pringle, of Princeton University, pointed out that the discovery could have a number of long-term effects for the species. He noted that because the tuskless trait was fatal to male offspring, it was possible that fewer elephants would be born overall. This could slow the recovery of the species, which now stands at just over 700 in the park. Yo, I'm sick of humans. Let me tell you, humans, bad deal. Should have got rid of them from the get-go. Tusklessness might become advantageous during a war, Professor Pringle, I can't get over that, said, but that comes at a cost. Another potential knock-on is changes to the broader landscape, as the study has revealed that tusked and tuskless animals eat different plants. But Professor Pringle emphasized that the trait was reversible over time as populations recovered from the brink of elimination. So we actually expect that this syndrome will decrease in frequency in our study population, provided that the cons- conservation picture continues to stay as positive as it has been recently. There is such a blizzard of depressing news about biodiversity and humans in the environment, and I think it's important to emphasize that there are some bright spots in that picture. But that's provided that they don't continue uh, poaching in the area. Now again, folks. What is ivory for? Oh, it looks nice. I'm gonna wear an elephant tusk around my neck. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a, a cane out of ivory. Make it out of wood. It comes from the fucking ground. I just. I just don't understand the 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 idea that humans think that the whole world belongs to them and only them. Without elephants, humans wouldn't be where we are today. Again. Look at where the the mammoths are in Europe and North America. 
Look at where they are. That is to say, in the ground. They're all dead. Why? Because humans killed them. Imagine. Right? There's a world before we discovered the great mammoth. Right? The mammoths. Humans lived for hundreds of thousands of years. Early humans evolved alongside mammoths. Early cave paintings have mammoths on them. And then we killed them all. And then there were people that were born that maybe maybe would have heard stories about the mammoths, don't know what those are, right? And then, you know, a couple more generations down the line, elephants don't exist at all in Europe, in North America. And then we discover, wait a second, we found some bones in the goddamn ground. Looks like there was a mammoth here. There was an elephant in fucking, you know, North Dakota. How did that happen? How come we didn't know this? Well, we did know this. It's just that we killed them all. Now, again, it's, you know, presumed that, of course... Uh, you know, climate changes and stuff, you know, maybe escalated that as well. And it was, you know, could have happened without human involvement and it's impossible to know for sure and you can't prove a counterfactual and all that stuff. But either way, I mean, humans have had such a negative effect on the environment and elephants, I love elephants. They're beautiful. I feel like in our lifetime, well, my lifetime, I, I'm sorry for the older people in my audience. God bless you but this ain't for you. But in my lifetime, I'm 25 years old. I feel like in my lifetime, we're going to be able to communicate with elephants. I feel like we're going to be able to have conversations with elephants in my lifetime because they're smart enough to hold conversations. We have begun to somewhat translate um, their language. They, they, they speak um, in rumbles and vibrations. So we've been able to start the process of translating some of what they mean when they speak to each other. Uh, and I feel like that, you know, given another 30 40 years i feel like we're gonna be talking to elephants hey dololo how's your day going oh it's going great it's, you know foraging i ate a, i ate a tree earlier well you know i ate a couple branches but you know i maybe had an apple damn that sounds great have a good day i feel like that's gonna happen in my lifetime unless these fucking poachers keep doing this stupid ass bullshit so just wanted to read this article about elephants i love elephants and i hope that i can convince my audience to love elephants as well because they're beautiful creatures.